Hey there, Capricorn. Okay, so let's see what's happening this coming week. We're starting on Sunday the 29th. We have two days left in September, the 29th and 30th. And then we go right through Saturday, October 5th. And we have an eclipse on the 2nd. So in Libra, let's see what's going on for you guys. What's happening Sunday? Sunday, Sunday. We have the Three of Cups. Invitation, an event, a party. Are you going somewhere? Is this a wedding or uh, some kind of situation, some kind of invitation? Is it a date? Ooh. Let's see. We have a Five of Cups. Uh-oh. Someone is having a lot of regret here. Someone is missing something here. They're crying over spilled milk, but they're not seeing the possibilities because we've got three cups down, but two cups up. Hmm. I want this something about this invitation. Let's see. Or this event. We have the Four of Pentacles. What's going on, guys? Someone holding back, holding on? Let's see what's happening on Sunday. Hmm, interesting how we have three, five, four. Let's see. What's going on with the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here Sunday? Oh, I got two. Look at that. And there's space, too. Let's see. This one is the Eight of Wands with the Seven of Swords. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. Seven of Wands. I don't know if the Eight of Wands. Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. There is something going on here with this invitation. It feels like maybe someone's getting an invitation, but someone is not too happy about this. Someone might be... Um, this might be your might be the victor and with this invitation over someone else, but someone is not happy about this at all. Seven of Swords. Someone might be picking you over someone else here, and this person does not want to let this person go. So I think someone's interested in you. You might get the invitation, or you might be out with them on Sunday, but there's someone here that is crying over this, and they do not want this person to leave. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Isn't that interesting? Three of Cups. Now, I normally don't see the Three of Cups as a third party, but I feel like this person is crying the fact they, they, they didn't get invited out by this person. That they picked you over them, and they do not want to let them go. They're crying over the three spill cups. But there is a truth here. Someone cut someone out. They probably say, I don't want you. I'm not interested in you. We we don't mesh. And this person is really heartbroken over this. Okay. <clears throat> so that's Sunday. Let's see what happens on Monday. I only take if it resonates with you. Let's see what's happening on Monday. So we have here the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be the player. This is um, Don Wanda. Oh, look at how many want to come out. I think I have too many, but let's see. Oh my gosh, I'll read them anyway. We have the Queen of Cups, the Death Cards, so an end to some kind of a loving connection here. Um, at the Empress, this could be someone ended a connection with the mother of their children or something. Yeah, because they're breaking up a family situation with another lover. Okay, I'm going to put that back in. So I think that's what might be happening with someone. That would be like one person. <clears throat> that was way too many cards to put down. I don't have room on the table. <clears throat> someone wants to speak to someone. We have here the King of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn.
And we have here the Three of Pentacles, some kind of collaboration. A get-together, collaborating, working together somehow. This could be this Knight of Wands with this... So it could be a Knight of Wands with this King of Pentacles coming together to collaborate on something here on Monday. So it could be a business thing, could be a love thing. Um, the Knight of Wands can be more of a player type of energy. This um, King of Pentacles could be more mature, more stable, more reliable, um, financially doing maybe better than this person. If felt, this person feels a little like frivolous or something or, or I don't know, sort of like the energy I'm picking up from this person is like all over the place. But this person, of course, feels very secure, very stable. <clears throat> so let's get the charms. So we have here, okay, we have a fish with this um, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands could be coming in with a business opportunity here. Or it could be also feeling like someone's their actually spiritual soulmate here. Um, resources, abundance, adaptability, um, yeah, some kind of business. Could be entrepreneur type of energy too with the fish. But I'm um, going with the flow. Let's see. And as far as this king of pentacles. Ooh. <clears throat> so this is the person that puts the pieces together, figure things out. It's probably, I almost feel like this is the brain of the um, combination here of people. That this person is the one that goes okay let's do this let's do it this way or this could also be someone wanting to mend something to fix something <clears throat> okay let's see about this knight of wands why is the knight of wands here Ooh. so we have the two of swords with the queen of pentacles why does it feel like this I don't I never got this before but I almost feel like this Knight of Wands wants to cut the Queen of Pentacles out of the King of Pentacles life but there is a choice this person might have to choose between a Queen of Pentacles and a Knight of Wands because it feels like this person is all in control it's in the middle of the, the three cards connection here we get something on this Queen of Pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn <clears throat> Now we have here a horse, someone charging ahead. This could be like the chariot moving ahead. This queen of pentacles might be moving ahead. This also could be for someone here. Because we do have three people here. We have the king and queen of pentacles plus the knight of wands, which could be a little bit more rebellious type of energy. It could be father, mother, and and child. I'm not going to say son. It could be a, um, either a female or a male. There could be someone need to make a decision about something here, about maybe including this person in this dynamic in this partnership in this um project or whatever this is here so it needs to make a choice here okay <clears throat> now let's see about this king of pentacles okay so we have the hermit the king of pentacles is really working alone somehow here it's it feels like this king of pentacles is trying to mend something i do feel like now this feels like a family situation and it's like they want he wants to mend something but or she but doing it on their own because they feel like they have to they're the person that has to make the decision it's like it's in their power to decide what to do here but going within to find the answers now let's see about this three of pentacles now this could also be a work dynamic too three different people at work or someone's trying to come together for a business deal and not sure you got this person in charge though or maybe this is the person that has all the money we have here the queen of wands Ooh, we threw another one in the mix who is this queen of wands now mm. this feels like an unexpected person here okay maybe this is a, a family like business but there might be a queen of wands that is not mm, not going over too well with the queen of pentacles and the knight of wands maybe okay let's see let's get a charm for this queen of wands or this could be saying listen we need to do something here i'm going to look at this as not a person and this is this group because we got three people anyway with it. oh there's pegasus there's good news coming in okay so it might be saying listen I think we need to change something here. Maybe our brand or a situation. We need to dressy it up. 
make it more attractive. So I'm thinking this is a group of three people trying to decide what to do with this. This could be getting a new spokesperson to be the face of the brand. Uh, ambassador I don't know something here has to change something has to if it, it feels more work though okay well you guys could make this another way but I'm feeling like this is some kind of dynamic within the family like there's a a whole it's a family business it feels like okay let me see about this um knight of wands we have admitted soulmate together okay Hmm. Okay, let's see about the Queen of Pentacles. We have here always player forget eventually. Okay, now I'm getting a whole no another thing. There could be Queen and King of Pentacles married. Knight of Pentacles is a little fling for the Queen of Pentacles, right? But now, this person, like this Knight of Pentacles, Gaga Google, wants to be with this Queen. But the Queen is probably saying, you know what? You know, I, I always knew that I was going to have to forget about you because you're a player and it's just, you know, fun. <laughs> Jeez. I usually don't get readings like this. I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's see about this King of Pentacles. We have realize, confess, committed, tower, meeting. Okay, so now the King of Pentacles is realizing something happened here. Something that might come out, be exposed with the tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. And it's something to do with a meeting. And something is, you know, something is going to have to be confessed about being committed to something. Now... This Queen of Wands could be the little uh, side dish for this King of Pentacles here. So it feels like, okay, maybe, you know, Mama Bear has a little thing going on here. And Papa Bear has a little thing going on here. Now, this King of Pentacles is saying, eh, you know, it's like um, they're realizing that, okay, this was fun. But almost feels like maybe it was trying to... I don't know why I got the men putting the pieces together, but it feels like maybe in the end they said, you know, we really shouldn't be doing this, either one of us. It almost feels like a, a jealous, like someone was trying to get someone's attention, so they wanted to do it by making them jealous. And then the other one said, okay, well, I could, too could play it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know why this is coming out like this. It's too crazy. I'm going to post this, but it seems too crazy to me. Okay, let me know if it actually resonates with someone. Let's see about Queen of Wands. Expect serious thinking. Oh, see now this Queen of Wands is saying, oh, no, no, Papa Bear. I'm serious here. You're not getting off that easy. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I will leave that there. I mean, that might be for someone. This is only one day. <laughs> okay. Let's go on to Tuesday, thankfully. <laughs> Let's see what's happening on Tuesday. We have here Temperance. Okay, Sagittarius Energy. Okay, so now... Ooh, things are calming down. Someone might be seeing, okay, let's let's just take a breather. Let's balance everything out. Being patient with something here. I like it. <laughs> that was too congested, too crazy. I don't know where we're going with that, but yeah, I didn't care for it too much. Here's Six of Cups. Something from the past. Memories from the past. Trying to balance something out. Being patient with something that maybe happened in the past. Hmm. Reflecting. We have here the Six of Pentacles trying to balance something out in the past. Okay, so on Tuesday, someone is saying, okay, how can I make this work with this past situation? Whether this was business, love, let's see. More even give and take. Something wasn't balanced. That's why this is all coming up. Something needs to be fixed, corrected. So let's see about the um, Sagittarius Temperance here. We have here, wow, the Six of Swords. 
look at this. We have three sixes here. <clears throat> the six of swords, six of cups, and six of pentacles. And someone wants to speak because my throat is getting scratchy. My voice is getting scratchy. <clears throat> Okay, let's see about the Six of Cups. So we have here the King of Swords. Yeah, so it feels like <clears throat> someone wants to speak their truth. Someone might be moving away from something here in order to bring the peace in here. Um, has to leave a situation. So let's see about this King of Swords. Oh, we have a diamond. Someone might be proposing or something. We have the King of Swords with a diamond from the past, might be returning here, wanting to make things smooth with someone, wanting to reconnect here, and having a lot of love. It's been, yeah, very intelligent here. Okay, let me get one on the, the Six of <coughs> Pentacles. We have the three of pentacles. Yeah, someone wants to work together with someone here. I think there's someone from the past coming back in here is wanting to speak their truth. We get the words on this king of swords. Now remember, just take the parts that resonate. If you can, leave that mess. <laughs> Don't take it. We have here committed tower money fast. Okay, so someone might be committed to making some kind of fast money, which is shocking, surprise, or something that they do. Let me get this, um, something on the money here. Aries Scorpio money on the tower. We have here, oh, someone's giving someone money. So someone is trying to make some money here, it looks like. Maybe this is to make this move, to offer someone something. Someone's doing something quickly here. Something surprising, though. Okay, let's go to the Eclipse Day on Wednesday, the 2nd. Let's see what's happening there. So we have here, someone is walking away from something. It's time to move. Time to move on. Mm. Eight of Cups. Oh, someone might be sneaking out in the middle of the night here. Look at this Seven of Swords. Yeah, this might be sneaking out in the middle of the night, walking away, leaving something here. I mean, this is like leaving all everything behind here. Just say, I'm just leaving. But then this could also be that someone is trying to take away someone's um, weapons here. Six of Swords. There's definitely some kind of movement on Wednesday here. Someone's moving on. It feels like they might be saying, you know, I had enough of this. I'm going to leave this deception. Someone's hiding things from me. They're not being truthful or, you know, or I'm taking some, I'm taking something away so they cannot come back at me on something here. I'm removing something. Okay, let's see about the Eight of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. This has something to do with the family. Leaving the family. Removing themselves from the family situation here. Because they don't trust it. There's something not right. And we have, because they want to bring in um, balance here. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Want to find peace. And moving on from something that was not serving them to something much better. And we have here... Wow, we have the Six of Pentacles. Look at these Sixes coming up. The Six of Swords with the Six of Pentacles now. Someone just is really just feeling, I want peace, I want balance. That's the energy I'm feeling. If this, if someone was actually dealing with this, saying, I don't want this chaos, I'm out of here. If someone could have been like on the sideline watching this happening, or could have been involved in it, but didn't want to be involved in it. <laughs> okay, let's see what's happening on Thursday. The third. We have a Five of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's going to be feeling like left out in the cold, deserted, um, unwanted. A lot of changes, though, with the Fives. And we have here the Eight of Wands. There's fast movement, though. 
um, conversation. If someone is uh, like feeling left out, there's something's going to turn around real quickly here too. Something's moving. Something's happening here. Okay. And we have the Empress. So if someone got, I almost feel like if someone got like left out of a deal. There's other offers coming in that bring someone actually into Empress Energy. So say someone is involved in this dynamic and they got the one that was left out. It feels like, okay, I wasn't chosen. I got left out. I got, you know, but by something happening here, that now this gives this person a lot of offers, a lot of things come in that puts them in Empress Energy. Now this could be Libra Taurus Energy, but this is talking about abundance, prosperity here. Okay, let's see what we get. Five of Pentacles. Okay. So we have the, the Empress again. Wow. Yeah, so go, it almost feels like going from rags to riches type of energy here. Going from being left out, you know, not having anything to like abundance. Okay. So it almost feels like, okay, that's all right. I, you're able to pick yourself up and... You know, sometimes things happen. You think it's the worst thing that ever happened, but it's the best thing that ever happened because you are at your best now. Now we have the Eight of Wands. And we have here, this is the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a lot of business coming in for your opportunity, working. All of a sudden, things are taking off as far as in your career, your work se sector here. Almost feels like you had to get out of this crazy dynamic. Not for nothing. It feels like a bunch of kooks. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I think it's good that you got out of there. Get out of that kooky thing. So we have here the Knave of Swords. So someone's been watching. Someone's been seeing something happening here. Or someone's been really watching someone work or something like that. And like the, there's offers coming in. There's things are happening here. Okay, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let me get something on this Knave of Swords. Your work has not been going unnoticed. You might have thought it was, but it hasn't. We have here... What is this? Communication. It's a bird. So there's communication coming in. So. There's an offer coming in. Something really good is happening here. Okay. You went through some kind of... You know, I don't know why they're showing me some like sort of stumbled into something. It's like you stumbled. It's like being at the wrong place at the wrong time. It's like you you were the one that was chosen because you happened to trip over something and fall into this room or something. <laughs> I, I know that sounds so bizarre, but that's that's what they're showing me. Like someone tripping and falling into this. Like it wasn't something that was planned. It wasn't something that you could see coming. It was almost like it just happened by chance. If you were the one the person that was involved in this dynamic here, that you know, one of the outsiders, which could be either the, could be a Knight of Wands or, or it could be this Queen of Wands. Totally bizarre. I don't know. Okay, let me get the words on this Knave of Swords. We have here alone breakup. Feelings, honest money. See that maybe that's it. I had to get away from this stuff because it wasn't honest, and now you're making honest money. So you had to break free from that and be alone in order to get this opportunity here. Because if you're stuck in that crazy dynamic, it was like you're going down the the um, we call it like going down the hole there. Hmm. Okay, let me get something on this money. So we have here, someone might have lost money. So, a long break of feelings, honest. Well, maybe you lost money, but you're being honest about it. You know, you rather have money that's honest than money that's corrupt is what I'm feeling here. And eventually you'll come. Be honest and you'll get rewarded. The dis uh, you could tell now, see how much the dishonest people are paying their dues? Mm -hmm. It's all coming out. Honest people are going to reap rewards now. Let's see here about what's going on on Friday. 
October 4th. We have the Four of Cups. Maybe someone feels like they missed an opportunity here. Or they, they're too paying too much attention to this in front of them, Three of Cups. They're not seeing that they're not... Um, they're not, there's more to all, be an offer than just these three cups. There's other options, which is coming right on the side here. You might not see this coming, but it is coming in. And so don't be too... This person is totally focused on those three cups. It's looking at them saying, well, which one should I pick? I don't really like any of them. But it's like, look, 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 look. There's someone else offering something, but they don't see it because they're too focused. Their mind are set on these three options. There's another option. You're not stuck with just those three. Okay, so let's see. So we have judgment. You need to make a decision here. Something is coming back around probably. Maybe an opportunity you thought you lost out on. No, it just wasn't the right time. Now it's coming in again. And this is the right time. If you choose to take it. Yeah, it'll make you really happy. Your hopes, your wishes, dreams come true. Before it just wasn't, wouldn't have paid out right. You know, it wouldn't work. So let's see about this four cups. We have here, so we actually have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, walking away from something. You're going to walk away from those Three Cups and take that Four Cup. You know, it's like, and you're looking at it and you say, it's not making you happy, so why are you even looking at it? So it's, look, the death, there's an ending here. There is some kind of ending that's bringing in some kind of judgment here. So it's probably saying, no, I don't want those Three Cups, and then, this other cup comes up and you say, yeah, that I'll take that one. So there's a major change coming in here. We have here, look at the, the majors. We have the death, we have the judgment, and we have the star. Aquarius energy with the star. Death is Scorpio. And we have here the star on the star. Whoa. Friday's going to be a spectacular day here. Spectacular. Did I say that right? I don't think so. So anyway. So yeah, something is your hopes and wishes, dreams come true. Don't be too fixated on those three cups. There's something else. You're not, you know, there's always something else. If you don't want something, don't take something. Wait until something better comes along. So let's see what's happening on Saturday, October 5th. We have here the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, a golden opportunity coming in. This feels like a major shift in energy. Ooh, the Ace of Swords too? Wow. A truth being told. And we have the Ten of Swords. There is an ending that is, needs to happen here. You're going to speak your truth. You're going to end something that does not serve you. And what you don't see coming is a hangman. So you're probably gaining a better perspective. You don't see this. You might have to wait on something here. You might have to be patient. Pisces energy. But you're going to see things differently. It's going to be a whole different ball game. So let's see about this Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So we have here the Eight of Swords and the Hierophant. Like someone is concerned in their mind, stuck in their mind, feeling trapped, but they're not. About a commitment or about maybe trusting their faith, their, their beliefs here with the Hierophant. It also could be higher learning. But there is an opportunity coming in here. Taurus energy with the Hierophant. Okay, let's see about the Ace of Swords. Speak your truth. Be in your truth and everything will work. Be authentic. Look at this. We have the sun. This is going to make you really happy. Leo energy. And as far as this Ten of Swords, this ending here, that needs to happen. Let's see. We have here the Knight of Swords. Someone's coming in this one want to come too, so I'll take it. We have the Knight of Swords and the King of Pentacles. If It could be a King of Pentacles coming towards you very quickly after this ends here. And we have here the Knight of Pentacles here too. Very slow moving action here. Okay, so the Knave... The Knight of Swords here is very fast, de um, determined energy with this 
king of pentacles so it feels like when something ends here someone might have to end something to, in order to come towards you with an offer here which would be someone very determined but this could be an offer that puts you in the king of pentacles energy here which would mean financial abundance with stability but it has to come after you end something it feels like something needs to end and also there's a very slow moving energy here between the hangman and the knight of pentacles there's something coming in but it's not it's not due to show yet is is still in the works there's still things being worked out because with the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles really thinks and thinks and thinks and then tries to plan things to see and also in the meantime we'll see things in a different light okay so let me see here about this um knight of swords with knight of swords we have oh we have the hammer with the heart so is someone building something someone might be, want to build a trust build a love here with the hammer trying to build something i would think someone could also maybe use a hammer for whatever they do for a living could be a carpenter or something or bring in justice here with the hammer too hitting the nail on the head trying to get things just right in love department now let's see about the king of pentacles we have yet yeah, divinely guided we have an angel here for the king of pentacles this is either someone coming towards you quickly would offer trying to bring in stability after ending here or this could be you you could be um just moving ahead and trying to build something you want to build here that's something that you have a love for or it could be someone coming in to try to build something with you so you could be the king of pentacles or this could be a king of pentacles coming towards you we get a charm on this knight of pentacles yeah, we have a peacock. Someone might be kind of showy here with the peacock. You know, looking really good looking here. It's kind of, um, maybe a little show off. I don't know. Okay, so let me do something with this. Get some words on this Knight of Swords. And we have here, regret, pleasure, hidden, very soon. Someone was going to regret that they hid something. <clears throat> very soon and it might have been something that would have been pleasing to them maybe they they regret they hit it i don't know you could rearrange this let's see about this king of pentacles drama desire unknown okay there might be some drama being caused by someone's desire that was unknown it could have been the, the idea that someone might pick you over someone else here okay and that's causing drama and someone didn't know about you let's see about this um knight of pentacles <clears throat> so we have here important I'm dropping everything important apology never present okay so this was maybe someone never presented something about apology that they needed to apologize for and now they are going to apologize or this could be someone bring you a present as an apology which maybe you never thought was going to happen or this could be something present presenting they either bring you a present presenting something to you or in the present okay let's see what signs we're dealing with <clears throat> placement your chart placement other people's chart past present and future let's see what we get Pisces Sagittarius Libra Aquarius Aqu you know Aquarius never came up in these and now they're Aquarius is coming up all the time it's like okay Aquari Aquarius came out from a deep sleep <laughs> In the bottom deck we have Virgo. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Pisces, Sagittarius, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius, Virgo. Now we do the letters, initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's first and last initials and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. You get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have here Y, D, I, T, F 
A, I, S, F, W, C. Okay, letters we have today are Y, D, I, T, F, A, I, S, F, Y, W, C. Okay, guys, I'll take it if it resonates, leave it doesn't. Um, this could also be an M. No, maybe this is an M. Take an M or a W, because that also looked like an M. Too, it's a little tighter. Okay, so take it if it resonates, leave it doesn't. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Don't forget that below, shoot me an email. I can send you the information to get a personal reading done if you care to do so. Um, and also don't forget to follow me on rumble, but, um, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, your super thanks, your donations. And oh boy, thank you so much for choosing me to do your personal readings. I'm so honored and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.